Sorry, we're going straight to Mike Bush in Wellington now. Good afternoon, nice to see you all again. Uh, I'd like to cover off uh, four main points today and then open up for some questions at the end of that, which again, I will do my best to answer. The first point I want to make is to advise you that this criminal investigation is the largest one ever undertaken by the New Zealand police in terms of the number of investigators that we have conducting this investigation alongside a number of specialists. We have 250 detectives and specialists right across the country conducting this investigation. And in fact, it is an international investigation with jurisdictions right around the world assisting us with those inquiries. We have on the ground here in New Zealand other law enforcement jurisdictions assisting us. We have the FBI, we have the Australian Federal Police and of course we have our own partner agencies working with us. The next point I want to make is to be quite definitive. We've spoken about this before but I want to definitely state that we believe that there was only one attacker responsible for this horrendous event. There were two scenes as you know and again I would like to state that we believe absolutely there was only one attacker responsible for this. That doesn't mean there weren't possibly other people in support and that continues to form a very very important part of our investigation. I also want to say that the threat level in New Zealand remains high and you will continue to see for weeks to come high vigilance and high visibility from the New Zealand Police and our emergency service partners to ensure that everyone in New Zealand feels safe. The last point I'd like to make is that I want to thank the public for their absolutely overwhelming positive support to members of the New Zealand Police and our emergency service and other partners who have committed themselves to this response and this investigation. It has been absolutely heartwarming. The commentary that we're getting about our people, uh, myself and the other heads of those organisations could not be more proud of our people who work every day and every night to keep our communities safe. I'll finish as I always do uh, with a message to the public in terms of if you see anything please say something. Ring the police if you believe it's urgent ring 111. If it's not urgent please continue to ensure that you get in touch with us and pass on whatever information you may have. Thank you. Why are you so